Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to calculate bearings. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, comment, hit the like button and share. Okay, so the question says find the bearing of A from C. So they want you to find the bearing of A whilst standing at C. So that's what it means when they say from C, A from C. It means they want you to find the bearing of A whilst you are standing at C. So the point at which you are standing, you need to draw a north. So you draw a north uh, like this. So this is the north. So now bearing is measured from the north clockwise until we meet the line AC. So we move from the north clockwise until we meet this line that is joining AC. So meaning this is the bearing that they want you to find. Okay, now how are we going to find this bearing? Okay, so when you look at this, a full 10 or a full revolution from the top north going round like this is 360. So meaning for us to find this bearing here, we need to know this angle here so that we say so that we can say uh, the total 10 which is 360 minus this angle plus this angle. So how are we going to find this angle? First of all, we'll consider uh, extending this north here. Okay, so that we use the properties of uh, alternate angles. So we consider extending this north here. So when you look at this north and this north, uh, they are parallel lines. Okay, these are parallel lines. And so this is a transversal. So this angle here is going to be equal to this angle because this angle is alternate to this angle here. So you are going to have 35 degrees as well here. Now look at this. This is a 90 degrees angle. So out of 90, uh, we have 35. So to, for us to find this angle here, we're going to say 90, which is the total uh, angles here, minus 35, uh, which gives uh, 55 degrees. So this here is 55 degrees. Now again, if you consider... If you look at this north and this north, they are also parallel lines. So meaning this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here because uh, this angle is alternate to this angle here. So this is also 55 degrees. Now for us to find this bearing here, we are going to say 360, which is the full 10, minus 40 plus 55. So bearing of A from from C. So this is A. So you are going to say 360, which is the 310, which is the full 10. So we're going to say 360, which is a full 10. So 360 degrees minus uh, this angle 40 degrees plus 55 degrees. Okay, so we have 360 degrees minus 40 plus 55 is 95 degrees. And so the bearing, when we subtract 95 from 36, when we subtract 95 from 360 is 265 degrees. So this is the bearing of A from C. Okay. Uh, B, they, they, say, they are saying, uh, B, they are saying, find the bearing of A from B. So, the bearing of A whilst you are standing at B. Okay, so here we already have a north. So, we are going to move clockwise from the north uh, until we meet or until we reach the line AB. Okay, so we move like this until we reach this line. So meaning the bearing they are looking for is this one here. 
okay that's a bearing now how are we going to find this bearing when you look at this line here this is a straight line so angles from here going round clockwise up to here is equal to 180 degrees because this is angles on a straight line okay now we have we are remaining with this little angle here so for us to find the total angles here for us to find the the total bearing here we're going to say 180 degrees which is from here clockwise up to here on the straight line plus uh, this angle here which is 35 degrees okay so here you are going to see that you have 5 this is 11 then 2 degrees so you are going to conclude and say therefore the bearing of a from b is 215 degrees a, B, and C are three points on level ground. B is on a bearing of 0, 0,70 0 degrees from A, and C is on, on a bearing of 130 degrees from B. So before we go ahead and answer this question, um, one thing you have to know is that um, language in bearing is very important for example if you have uh, c d if you have a line like this and then you are being asked to say find the bearing of the bearing of c from from d so here they are telling you to say find the bearing of c whilst you are standing at d find the bearing of c whilst you are standing at d in other words uh, the word from indicate the point at which you are going to stand whilst you are finding the, the, the bearing of uh, this uh, c here so where you are going to stand where you are standing you are going to draw a north so where are you going to draw a north you draw a north where you are standing here you draw a north and then the bearing of um, C from D will, will be measured from the north so this is the bearing of C from D okay now coming back to our question coming back to our question they want us to find the bearing of A from B so meaning we are standing at b because they're saying from b so we are standing at b and because we are standing at b we are going to draw a north at b so since there's uh, the north is already drawn at b we'll just extend it so let's just extend the north like this with a ruler so this north and this north are parallel lines and uh, you have this line here that is cutting the two parallel lines this is a transversal and so this angle here is going to be 70 as well because this is a, uh, an, uh, these, these are alternate angles and alternate angles are equal so you have alternate angles you can see it's forming a ZD a Z uh, letter, a, a, a letter Z. So, again, when you move like this, up to this point, up to this point, you can see this is a straight line. And angles on the straight line are um, 180. The sum is 180. So, for you to find this one here, you are going to say 180, which is the total, minus 130 which gives it 50 degrees here 50 degrees okay now let's come back to 
the question. We are finding the bearing of A from B. So remember, the bearing is measured with from the north. So we are going to move like this until we reach the line that connects that connects A and B. So this is a bearing that they want us to find. So how are you going to find this bearing? So we have already said that this is a straight line. Already we have 180 up to here. Then plus 70 degrees. So we are going to say um, we are going to say that uh, the bearing of A from B will be 180, which is from here to here, a straight line, plus this, okay, plus 70 degrees. So zero, and then 15, two. So the bearing of A from B is 250 degrees is 250 degrees now what is the bearing of b from c so now they want you to find the bearing of b from c okay the bearing of b b from c so b from c from c so meaning you are standing here you are standing at c and because you are standing at c you are going to draw a uh, a north at C, the point at the point where you are standing. Okay, like this. This is the north, and again you can see that this line and this line are parallel lines, and uh, you have a transversal here. You can see that uh, another Z is being formed. So this angle is fifty degrees. Even this angle is going to be fifty degrees. Okay, this angle is 50 degrees. Now, um, bearing of B from C. So we measure the bearing with, from the north. So we're going to move like this until we find the line that connects B and C. So we're going to move like this. We reach here. We stop moving because we've reached at the line that connects C, B and C. Okay. So, and a full turn, we can see that a full turn is actually 360, but out of 360, we have a 50 here. So, what you are going to do is, uh, for you to find, for you to find a bearing of B from C, you are going to add, I mean, you are going to subtract 360, which is a complete 10, minus you are going to subtract 50 from 360. So you are going to say 360 minus 50. This will be zero. Then this will be one. And yeah. So it's uh, actually 310. So the bearing the bearing of B from C is 310. Okay, so after working out like that, you come and write your answers in the, in the space here. So we found that the bearing of uh, A from B is 250 degrees, and then the bearing of B from C is 310, 310 degrees. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.